When it comes to mixed martial arts, there's no fighter more controversial than the notorious Conor McGregor. There's no doubt his anger problems have landed him quite a few contentious moments both in and out of the cage. As it turns out, he recently decided to go all in on the one and only UFC welterweight champion, Kamaru Usman. And Usman is having none of it. But how did this strange rivalry begin and can we expect this fight between McGregor and Usman to ever be backed by the Ultimate Fighting Championship? Well, whether you're a fan of either fighting or just want to know more about the intense back and forth they've been having, you come to the right place as we're about to explore everything there is to know about the possibility of them clashing for real so strap yourselves in and get ready for a bumpy ride as things are about to get interesting but before we get into it make sure to straight left that like button and guillotine choke the subscribe button with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos that we post the start of things a couple months ago Kamara Usman went on to successfully defend his UFC welterweight title for the fourth time overall knocking bitter rival Jorge Masvidal out in only the second round with a clear clean right hook. The incredible knockout came as a surprise to screaming fans of Masvidal, serving as only the second knockout loss in the entirety of his career, prompting an enormous amount of praise to come Usman's way. Funnily enough, even Masvidal went on to send some love in Usman's direction, stating that it was an insane performance from his fellow contender. But not everyone was excited to see Usman stay on top. As it turns out, McGregor was actually hoping he would be knocked to the floor at some point during UFC 261. So when this didn't take place, the former champion decided to take to Twitter. You see, it all started when Usman referred to his bout against Masvidal by using the phrase Green Panty Night, which was an obvious reference to the phrase Red Panty Night as made popular by Conor McGregor. Clearly upset by the fact that Usman tried to copy his famous quip, McGregor went on to tweet a video of himself striking a fellow contender in the face. It's in the caption of the video that shots were fired though, with McGregor saying that it wasn't just his quip that Usman had stolen. McGregor himself said he may be coming for the welterweight belt soon. In his own words, Usman is even copying my shots now. Am I to fight this guy? at some stage? I think so. Can't be copying my words and my shots and not get a smack for it. I like 170. It's mine soon. Considering how McGregor has previously fought in both the lightweight and featherweight divisions of the UFC, mentioning that he is going for the welterweight title is a bit much. He's severely underweight for the contenders on the circuit after all, but he explained himself further in another tweet, mentioning that he would just need some time to bulk up from his current weight of 155. And once he does, he'll be launching himself at the title with the intention of knocking Usman out for what he considers to be disrespectful theft of his shots and words. More specifically, the former champion said, I'm a block at 170 guys, give me till the end of the year at this 155 weight. I'll get the strap and then I'll go up. After green fungus panties, ha ha ha, cause any of those fools can get it. Usman crying laughing emoji face. Usman was way too busy celebrating the success defense of his title that night to respond to McGregor immediately, but when he did, things were taken to the next level. He mentioned that he would just need to touch McGregor for the crowd to enjoy another knockout, and that as of late McGregor can't seem to knock anyone out, not even in his current weight class. With Notorious' tweet attached to his response, Usman responded with, except when I touch you at 170, they go out. They don't even go out at 155 anymore for you. I finish people. You get finished. Never the one to back down from a fire-filled response like this, McGregor called Usman more names, accusing him of doping and calling for the UFC to give him a crack at the welterweight title. In his own words, McGregor responded as follows. Relax there, carbuncles. You big spotty back pox. You were ringside last time I fought at 170. 40 seconds is all it took. Why why did you reschedule the Burns fight? What was that reason I was never given to the public? Why was that already signed fight rescheduled? Screw these juice heads anyway. I don't give a bollocks. I'm just calling as it is. I have the biggest balls in Ireland with two lump hammers attached to me elbows. Send me in, I'll pop that big pimple. Get three belts to go with my three commas. It should be known that since 2016, Usman has tested clean for USADA a grand total of 50 times, including eight times this year already. So there wasn't really any evidence to back up the claim made by McGregor that he has been doping with PEDs. But rather than then sink into McGregor's level, Usman avoided making any baseless accusations against his fellow contender, stating only that he had already offered him a fight which saw zero response from the fighter. Responding directly to his string of tweets, Usman said, I offered you the fight and you went missing. Let's stay humble, young man. I already took your pride. Don't make me take your whiskey too, winking face. So as you can tell, both Usman and McGregor have been chirping at one another from behind the screen for quite some time now, with many in the industry wondering whether the UFC will ever allow the fight to even take place. Before this can happen, McGregor will have to bulk up a lot more as a weight of at least 170 is needed to compete professionally in the welterweight division where Usman can be found. And since McGregor has only since decided to move to the lightweight division, it should take a while for this development to take place. But this doesn't necessarily mean that UFC will allow the match to take place immediately. In fact, that makes more financial sense that McGregor fight his way to the top through the welterweight division, having fans follow the progress and have everything culminate in the Usman fight. And honestly speaking, while we don't believe everything that comes out of the mouth of Conor McGregor, we do believe that he's willing 
willing to go up a weight class to take on Usman. His fan base has been lacking over the last couple of months after all and it makes sense that he would need to do something special to get out there again. And if he was willing to take on Floyd Mayweather in the boxing arena, why wouldn't he go as far as moving up a weight class to make another name for himself, right? It would look like everyone involved would be winning when it comes to the financials of this move. So we fully expect it to happen in the future. But what if it were to actually happen? What would be the outcome? Predictions for the upcoming bout. Well, you wouldn't be surprised to hear that most analysts are backing Usman for this potential fight, but it must be kept in mind that all current opinions are based on the weight and size advantages of the fighter at the moment. And as we said earlier, Conor McGregor is going to have to bulk up by quite a bit in order to actually compete in the welterweight division. So keep your eyes peeled on the man's progress as a 170 pound Conor McGregor is sure to have a better chance against Usman than the 150 pound big mouth we know and love. The first reason why analysts have been called for Usman is pretty simple. The man has an obvious size advantage. As we saw when McGregor took on Nate Diaz in the welterweight division. It was this size advantage that Diaz had on McGregor that really led to the Irishman's downfall. After trying his best to go for a takedown, Diaz overpowered him using his size to his advantage, securing a submission victory in just round two. And if Diaz could do that with McGregor back then, what could Usman, the best welterweight fighter in the championship, do to him? Enough said. Fans of McGregor will also know that wrestling is still McGregor's kryptonite. This was exposed when the big mouth McGregor went up against Khabib Nurmagomedov for the lightweight title at UFC 229. Over the four rounds, Khabib went on to dominate and shut McGregor up, who had absolutely zero answers to the wrestling heavy offense. As it turns out, Kamaro just so happens to be one of the most accomplished wrestlers in the entirety of the UFC. Before he began his career in MMA, Usman was one of the best decorated collegiate wrestlers in the world. The man is a beast. Having secured an NCAA Division II National Championship, three NCAA Division II All-American Championships, and, and even went on to compete in the NAIA National Championships, Conor McGregor is going to have to come with a big plan to deal with a heavy wrestling offense as we know that Usman can easily bring it to the table. But it's not just wrestling that Usman's strong suit. In fact, some would suggest that the fighter has the ability to outstrike McGregor as well. During his most recent performance, Usman proved that he is a formidable threat in the hitting department. He traded blows with Masvidal, one of the most feared knockout artists in the championship, and came out on top with his own knockout. His hands are quick and his strategy is sound. And while McGregor likes to say that he is knocking people out left and right and center, the truth of the matter is, is that McGregor is no longer considered to be a knockout threat. Sure, he has the ability to knock someone out, but McGregor of old seems to have disappeared with his two previous retirements. The man we're now watching in the ring is a far cry from what he used to be. So if he really does want to trade blows with Usman and come out on top, he's going to have to train harder than he has ever trained before. Otherwise, he's hitting the mat. And did we mention that Kamara Usman has never been knocked out before? That's a streak that not many MMA fighters can boast. What do you think? Feel free to let us know in the comment section down below.